Hi, Jim Webb. I hope you guys are having a great morning. Um, Teresa Harkins, I'm the Director of IT Support Services here at ACC, and that um, means that I'm responsible for two functional areas. One of them is uh, computer operations, and one of them is the help center. Good question, Josh. First of all, you've, of course, got, you protect people from actually getting in to the network at all. And we have two levels of network. There's a firewall between ACC and the outside world, um, which is called the internet. And then we've got what we call a DMZ zone, where there, once you get through the first firewall, you can get to some of our web pages and, and things like that. And then there's a second firewall that you have to get through in order to get to our databases and, and student records and financial data and that kind of stuff. That's a great question, Roxanne. We use Norton Antivirus, and we just upgraded to a new version of Norton Antivirus, which has spyware protection in it as well. It doesn't help 100% um, of the time. We try to alert all of our faculty and staff that when they get emails to not uh, open up attachments if they're not sure of where they're from. Um, we have that quite often. We'll get people who have Trojans, who have viruses. Yes, Chris, that's a very good question. The network uh, guys that monitor the firewall access told me one day that they see 20 to 25,000 hits a day. That was quite a while ago. They may be seeing more. Basically what that is is that people aren't specifically targeting ACC. They write programs that go out on the internet and search for any hole they can find. Um, wherever there's a a hole in a network or a hole in a firewall, if they can get in, they'll get in and look around and see what they can find. Well, an algorithm would be like a, a computation that a programmer would write to figure out something. I don't know if you've seen all of these um, sci-fi shows on TV where you see someone with a little a computer or something that they plugged into a bank vault and they're running through a series of numbers to try to guess the combination and that's that's what that is. The more difficult the combination is, the more difficult it is to figure it out. We're doing the major implementation now to provide students with a debit card so they can get their refund and financial aid money faster. We're working on providing students with an online payment plan. And then we'll be working on another big project to provide students with uh, email accounts. No matter how much money you put behind firewalls, between passwords, between uh, access to systems, your biggest leak and your biggest identity theft issue is with your employees. And it may not necessarily be malicious or intentional. It may just be that they're so busy um, that they just accidentally uh, release data without knowing about it. Hey class, thanks for giving me the opportunity to talk to you and I, I hope I've been able to help you in your learning environment. Thank you.